Hi, this is Christina from thegodlyindianmom.com. Today's book review is on Early Indians by Tony Joseph. So this book I would recommend for young adults and adults. Uh, it was a really fascinating read because as uh, like everybody, I also am very curious about the past and uh, you know, to know about ourselves and wh where we come from, what uh, you know, what is it that went into the making of us. Uh, and India is uh, definitely a very fascinating country because it has very different languages and different scripts and different traditions and different uh, even thought processes that goes into, uh, you know, uh, different uh, localities. Uh, so it's a very fascinating book and I think it's a good book that tries to explain that. Uh, and obviously it's very obvious because uh, with India being such a very very old subcontinent there are wars there are displacement there are borrowed ideas there are migrations there are things it, it is very it is believable actually speaking because the continent is so so old and I don't think that's a bad thing every country and every continent goes through it there is no co continent which doesn't have any wars and people have not been displaced or moved and I think that's a very normal thing and uh, kind of that kind of explains some some of uh, what India is and uh, I think India is so beautiful in that way because it brings the old and the new together and it's interesting to see how ideas you know uh, each even though people in India live in different uh, you know geographical places how we borrow each other's ideas and live uh, and uh, India in that way is very accepting also uh, like usually people are always they, them and their own business uh, and uh, that acceptingness is uh, pretty much uh, what makes India India in the way we mesh and move together uh, whether you could be a South Indian having North Indian and Northeast Indian friends uh, with who eat very totally different things from what you actually eat or even in the way where our philosophy lies in what we believe uh, you could have be uh, like a Christian having Hindu and Muslim friends and uh, accepting of what their tradition and what they are taught. And I think uh, in that way, I think uh, India is a very, very unique and special country. It is the original melting pot to speak. Uh, and uh, I think this book does a very nice uh, way of presenting it and uh, like with the new uh, DNA evidence, uh, I don't think this is the final book because it's a it's a very old subcontinent uh, with lots and lots of history and so there will be many new things that we will know but this is a small stepping uh, stone to understand it a little better and uh, yeah I look forward to reading uh, and seeing how I think uh, maybe a few years or a few decades down the uh, line we would come up with even more new evidence that could even be contrary to what was written in this book. So I think it will be very fascinating to see how things go. Um, this as such I, I do think is a wonderful book to understand what ancient India was like and what went into the making of India as we see today. Uh, so that is what the gist of this book is. So this is it from me. Until next time, see you. Bye.